Hello, this is Shelly Marie. Mwah. Okay, so I have my first couple of questions. I was so excited. Thank you guys for entrusting me to respond to you. Um, so I'm going to do them individually because I want each person to know that I want to give them their own attention. So I decided to do it this way. Um, so for to answer each question, I, of course, I have a story to go along with it. I'm sorry. Um, the question was, how do I ask my mom to give me birth control? And, and it was so funny because last night my daughter, she came to me. And I remember telling you guys that my daughter asked me, um, does anything look different? And I said, no, it doesn't look different. Um, but my little one is paying attention to her body. So last night she came to me again and she was like, mom, this one hurts and that one doesn't. And one still looks bigger than the other. Can you look? And I'm like, it's okay. I, I think she thinks she's deformed or something. I don't know. But I said, it's okay. It's okay. So back in the day, when you made like 13, 12, 13 years old, and immediately um, when your breast started to form, she said, um, I said, heaven, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to have lumps there you you have nothing now she said i woke up and these were there <laughs> and i bust out laughing because it's, it's just like the little nipples that's there it's, it's not even a whole formation so i was like okay um so i said well when you wake up another morning you're gonna have bigger lumps that's gonna be there and she's like why 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 I said, well, your body is transforming, so just just be prepared. Don't be scared. Don't don't wake up yelling like, ah, what happened? Um, it's it's just so funny. So back in the day, when your body was transforming, and and this is what my mom did too. Um, as soon as you make thirteen or fourteen years old, your parents are running to put you on birth control. Um, this is like. You're gonna be pregnant. You're gonna be pregnant. Um, that means your menstrual is coming, and and blah 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 blah. Um, and so I think I, I ended up on birth control when I was like 14 years old. Um, I wasn't active. I, I wasn't even interested in boys then, although my family probably thought di differently. Um, boys was like, uh, I, I was in middle school. Um, I had pimples in my face. Um, it it just that's what parents did when I did get my first menstrual um, nobody had explained it to me um, I told my I went to my mom and I said um, mom I have blood in my pants uh, would, would, uh, why, why why am I dying I thought I was dying I really thought I was dying and so she took me in the bathroom and back in the day they, they didn't have the pads that they have now my mom gave me one of her pads and her pads literally it was from my my belly button all the way to my back it didn't even <laughs> it, it wasn't even a kind that stick it was it was one that you just literally just put in your underwear and i think i sat on the sofa unless i had changed my pad i sat on the sofa for a whole week because I was afraid that somebody was going to see this humongous thing. I think they, they, the pins would have been better. Um, it was horrible. It, 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 oh my God. It was absolutely horrible. So my recommendation, first of all, to my moms, if you're listening, please have that conversation with your children. Don't wait until it comes and they think that they're dying. Have, and don't let other people explain i know there are classes that teach them about the birds and the bees um i think when i had the conversation with my son um my husband wasn't there yet he was still in iraq and so i had a conversation with my son about the birds and the bees because i have a hilarious story about that but i'm not going to tell you right now um but when i was teaching him 
And and when I had the conversation with my daughter about sex, I think I did pretty much the same thing. Um, with my daughter, I just sent pictures to her phone. I, I sent pictures of every disease that you can possibly have. And she just picked up her phone while she was at school. And she seen these pictures up in her phone. And she was like, what the? And she was like, Mama, why you sent these pictures to my phone? I was like, I want you to know what can happen to your you cool to get um but when my son when i was teaching him about the birds and the bees and the only reason i was teaching him about the birds and the bees is because the school called me and and told me miss williams can you come in and i said okay and so when i went to the school she said have you talked or discussed with your son about you know sex about the birds and the bees and i said well you know he's middle school he, I, he's not you know interested in girls like that and she said well baby in this generation I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you your son is cute um and they're gonna get him and I was like huh they're gonna get him she was like yeah these girls nowadays they're taking the boys they pulling them in broom closets and I was like oh my god so I took him home and so I started ex trying to explain to him how to put a condom on and the different diseases and this, that, and the other. And he was looking at me because keep in mind, he, this was middle school. This was like sixth grade. And so, of course, he was turning his head looking like, and, and ultimately, when he was looking at me cock -eyed, I said, you know what? Just don't have sex. It's going to kill you. You're just going to die. Just, just, just don't have sex. No, just have sex and so he was just like I, I think I, I, I scared the child I don't I don't we have sex now but you know back in the day I, it, it just it was different so back to the question at hand how to ask your parent nowadays um, moms if you're listening if your daughter comes to you and asks you um, about getting birth control i would highly recommend that you put some serious thought into it because if she's coming if she's brave enough let me say first of all if she's brave enough and that's where amnesty is a good thing to have if she's brave enough to come and say hey mom um can we talk about birth control can i get birth control blah 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 blah, blah. um that means she's already talking about it um, with other people, her friends, um, that mean she's already trying to be active or already have participated possibly in some type of act, possibly. Um, she may be a good girl. I have a good girl. Um, but just because you have a good girl, um, it doesn't mean anything. Um, it's possible that you know these young ladies they're they have they're doing some amazing things things I would not have thought about in a million years at at 14 15 16 we were playing curveball we were I, I remember I was we were playing in a tree if we kiss somebody, we thought we were doing something. We thought we had got some. We, oh my God, we we thought we were really doing something. But nowadays, you know, I had a teacher to come and talk to me, and he said that this guy, um, what they call it, um, oh my God, I forgot what they called it, um. It wasn't it's not called a head job anymore it's called a I forgot I'm gonna have to tell you on another thing when I think about what it is but um he didn't get his something on the back of the bus in the morning and I was like the teacher was like he me and the teacher were amazed he said that they were talking about it in the class and he was trying to figure out why this guy was mad and he said he didn't get his something this morning from this girl in the back of the bus so they're actually doing it like in the back of the bus and I was like wow okay because when he didn't say head job I was like what what is that and he said, you don't know what that is? That's the new name for it. And I was like, 
So when I on my next review, I'm I'm gonna have to tell y'all what that is. Um, so you can be looking for it. So if you hear it, you'll be like, oh my God, please tell me she is not doing that. So my youngest has never rolled the bus, and my middle, I was terrified to let her ride the bus especially when she had to do transfer because I was terrified I'm, you know she had done had a menstrual this that and the other but I still did not give her birth control until later on um, she didn't get birth control until she was 17 um, and that's because I didn't <clears throat> want to feel like I was giving her permission and because our relationship was so open um i wanted her to have the opportunity to come and talk to me so when she felt she was ready she did come and talk to me she came and she said mom i think i'm my body you know i think i'm ready um i'm not saying i'm going to do anything um but just in case that time came um, she was starting to date and I said okay let's hurry up and go because I am too cute to have any grandbabies so yes and my husband is too cute to look like a papa shout out to my hubby hey um so therefore um we took a the best con contraceptive um it will be up to you um i've had a few different kinds um currently i'm on isha and that's only because i'm sure i don't want any more children um isha is basically some nickel coils in your fallopian tubes you have to actually sign a contract for that one um the shot does provide weight so if you're a little bitty thing and, and want to gain just a little weight, um, you can do that one. Um, that one you don't have to worry about remembering nothing but a date. And with Chelsea, we actually just keep the slip up in the truck. So when we see that date, every time we look down, we know it's that time. Um, the thing in the arm is just not cute. It looks like it hurts. Um, I've never tried that one. Um, I just I'm not a fan of having things in my arm. I've had, I got this tattoo, but eh. um I've had the um the little thing down there. Um I had it. Um I didn't like it when it was implanted. I had um an immediate infection because it was put in incorrectly. Um, and when it was initially put in, it hurt like holy crap. Um, it was not a good thing. It did not last long. Um, so it's just really all about what you choose for um, protection for your child. Um, but yeah, so my recommendation, young lady, if you are ready for um that next step in growing up um be sure um purity i recommend the bible recommends purity um we are human um your body is your temple don't allow anybody to use you don't be pressured into doing anything never ever um you only do things that you're ready for um i don't recommend getting um birth control early um because it does mess with the body sometimes it just depends on the person um and mom if she asks take her serious because you would hate for her to do something and then we are babies are blessings but if we have a young lady that's smart with potential and is going somewhere we would hate to stop or hold up her future um, because 
it's not a mistake, but because we didn't listen. Um, especially when they asked. So that's my advice for today on asking for birth control and how do I ask? You go and you ask. Moms, we have to be open-minded. It's a conversation. Be open to that conversation. Don't let Bianca tell her what to do. Let mom tell her what to do. And mom, be that open ear. Listen. Listen. I can't sing. I'm sorry. But Shelly Marie, I hope you take it. Take the advice. Love you guys. Talk to you later.